Beyond the Moon, I am doing a peek at your person. Love tarot reading. So, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there and feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading. All right, so Leo, fun, exciting announcement at the end of this video, so stick with me until then. All right, let's get into your overall energy and then your person's overall energy and see what's going on. All right, so you're starting off with serendipity and observer. So I feel like you're seeing signs, synchronicities, um, trying to gain some clarity here. You could be watching someone to see if there's red flags or what's going on. Um but I feel like you're in a very observant mode. You could be watching this person on social media, just seeing what they're up to, what things are about. But I feel like you're you're feeling like something's meant to be or you're seeing signs and synchronicities here. Your person has peace, all right? Uh, there is an egg in this picture. I feel like there is a new beginning here or a new peaceful beginning or that's what they're after. But let's see what else overall energy for Leo's person and Leo keep in mind because this is general, it could be flip flopped and reverse. So I could be talking about your person, but it could be your energy. We also have deep knowing your person feels an intuitive hit when it comes to you. There's a deep knowing you're seeing signs and synchronicities. Their intuition is like lighting up. All right. So I feel like yeah, and imagine you guys could be communicating in the 5D, your higher selves, blessed. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit of a change for you, Leo. Is this something new? Is this a new connection? Hmm, Leo, what's going on? Current energies for your person. Current energies for your person. Leo's person in love. What is going on? The hermit. Is there no communication going on right now? Did they pull their energy back to go within here? We have the, that's Virgo energy. We have the Chariot, Cancerian energy, Six of Cups, and Nine of Wands. Your person's reflecting. They're reminiscing about you or thinking about you. You could have known this person since childhood, um, or this is just a nostalgic energy that they're really thinking about you or thinking about something from the past here. I feel like they want things to move forward and I do feel like they want to fight for this. Hmm. This could be someone new or it could be someone that you're in separation with or no contact with right now, but they are thinking about you. I feel like there's a little bit of confusion or this person may have had options or they're looking at their options. Hold on, why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? <laughs> why is the Seven of Cups here? All right, okay, Ace of Pentacles and then Three of Pentacles. So I feel like this person, I don't think it's like, other options. I don't feel like this person's like, oh, I have so many people to choose from. I don't feel like it, they're doing that. I feel like this person's a little bit confused on how to move forward here, how to fight for this. I feel like they do want to turn those dreams, fantasies, ideas into a reality. I feel like they want long-term security, commitment, stability. And I feel like they do want to be on the same page with you and they do want to work with you here. It's like a peaceful new beginning, I feel like this person wants. They don't want drama. They don't want chaos, craziness. I feel like you're kind of on that same wavelength too. But let's see what's blocking this connection. What's blocking this, Leo? What's blocking this? Two of Swords, Ace of Wands, and Three of Wands. <sighs> There's a decision that needs to be made, and I feel like your person doesn't have the clarity that they're seeking right now. They could be hoping for their intuition to kick in with this deep knowing. 
Three of Wands is like making that decision and waiting for the results to come in or waiting to reap the rewards from that. Ace of Wands is like that new beginning with passion and desire and fantasy and sexy time and all of that. And I feel like your person actually wants to start off in a very stable way. I feel like it's not something that's sex-based. I feel like it's or passion-based. I feel like it's more long-term stability, something that's, that's strong, right? And I feel like there's some kind of Trying to make a head over heart decision here that's being blocked. It's either that or they know, Leo, they know that you are the option. But there's like a confusion on how to move forward here. I don't think they want to wait with that three of wands. I feel like they don't want to wait. To get things going. To get moving. Alright, let's see what else is blocking this. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius Energy, Aries Leo. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer Scorpio. Seven of Swords. Why? Why is like passion and romance being blocked? What is going on here, Leo? We started off with such a like positive energy and I feel like is it a fear? Leo, like, are you looking for red flags or are you like, is this person going to hurt me? Are they going to play me? I'm not giving myself up to this person until they prove themselves. And I feel like that could be causing this confusion here because this person I feel is genuinely coming towards you with a stable offer or stable opportunity. And I feel like this, this is fear. Like it's too good to be true. There's something wrong with this. There's going to be lies, deception, sneaky behavior. I can see right through it. Red flags are going off. They're, they're too nice. So something's wrong. <laughs> Leo, what, what, you gotta let me know. There, I, don't know. I do feel this is someone new. It doesn't have to be someone new, but I do feel it is someone new. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse is being blocked. Is there a family dynamic here? Do you have children? They have children. And it's like, I don't want to mesh the families together yet. I don't want to. Are you afraid this person isn't going to be loyal? They're not going to be long term. It's blessed. Take that leap of faith. Leo, the overall energy for this reading for both of you is like so positive that I'm like, I don't know what to make of this because it's like, what? There's a lack of clarity or seeing things for what they truly are. And I don't know if it's you. I feel like it's you, Leo, but it could be your person. And I feel like there's a twisted, warped sense of what's real and what's fake because of things that have happened in the past. How does this person truly feel about you? They could feel like you're walking away. Eight of Cups. They could feel like you're walking away from them. 
And I feel like they want to fight for this. What else? How else do they feel? Ten of Swords. Leo, did you walk away from them for somebody else? Did somebody else come along and like tempt you? Two of Wands. They feel like you need to make some kind of a decision here. There was a painful ending. There was a painful ending. Somebody may have cut off communication, blocked them, ghosted them. Seven of Wands. Leo. I mean, you could have, you could be like, I had every right to walk away from this person. They did something wrong, right? But I feel like you're being very self-protective. You're just sitting in observer mode. You're not really taking action on anything. I feel like you're waiting for a sign. You're waiting for a sign. And you're being very self-protective. You're not making a big decision right now. I feel like you're afraid you're going to get hurt. This could be your, your person. It could be flip-flopped, reversed. But I feel like, for the most part, it is you. Because that's how I'm doing this reading. But Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. This person sees you as a divine counterpart. This person sees long-term commitment with you. Matching energy, stability, abundance, secure, family-oriented, long-term. This is like the married couple of the deck that has it all. That's how this person feels about you. Or wants with you. They feel that you could be in this Queen of Cups energy. Cancer energy. You could be. And this may not be the, the truth. But this is their truth. Their perspective. They could see you like maybe a little over emotional. Or. Blaming them. For stuff that's happened to you in the past. Or damage that's already been done. And listen you guys. I, I've done that. I still sometimes do. Because I've been burned so many times in the past. That I have real now. And sometimes the past shit comes up. And I project it. And I, I catch myself doing it. You know. It, it's, it's a process to release that way of thinking. And I feel like that may be what's going on here. I feel like this person is genuine. I just, the energy is coming off of it. But you might not see that. You might be afraid of, of real, afraid of something true. Yeah, Leo, they see you very fiery, fierce, competitive. They want to heal this with you. Aquarius energy with the star. You are their wish. They want to heal this with you. They want truth, clarity, victory with you. Let's see, what's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome. Transformation, scorpionic energy. Something's about to change in this dynamic. Keep in mind, everyone has free will, all right? Um, so things can change. All right, Six of Cups again, Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Death card. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of transformation, and I feel like it's actually going to be a wish come true for both of you, all right? And I feel like it's going to start off on a very smaller scale, Let's take it slow. Let's see where it goes. Let's see if, you know, I can trust you. Let's see if 
you're real, you know? Um, and the six of uh, cups here, I feel like there's a sense of like youthfulness, youngness, playfulness to this. I am also feeling strong loyalty coming from this card with the dogs. <sighs> Starting from here and growing together, all right? That's that stability. I'm telling you, Leo, there's something about stability here. That victory and success that was being blocked, here it is. Was that being blocked? I don't know, maybe it wasn't. There is victory and success to be had here. Seven of Pentacles. Plant your seeds, grow them, <laughs> love, care, nurture it, romance, everything that was being blocked, I feel that's coming out in the outcome. Somebody was, it, so one of you was blocking all the good stuff. Someone was blocking the romance, the passion, the loyalty, the long term the go-getter, let's do this together. Someone was blocking this. I do feel it was you, but it could have been them. And now I feel this transformation is going to change everything that's blocking this into bringing this together. What else? Outcome, potential outcome here for Leo. Yep, moving on to calmer waters. Clearing up any confusion or chaos. Any fears? There's that Knight of Cups that wants to come out. Pisces energy, Scorpio Cancer. What else? What else? This person, I feel like you, I feel like it's a misunderstanding, Leo. I, I feel like it's a misunderstanding. You may have cut off communication from this person. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you were being more of the Queen of Swords when it came to this person. Very cut off, cold, blunt. When all they wanted to do was like be authentic, you know. I'm not. Don't don't get mad at me for saying this stuff. I it, it's natural for that to happen, especially when you've been hurt. Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You are putting an end to the fears, the anxiety, any betrayal, backstabbing, painful endings, and you're starting new with truth, clarity, and this is that victory sword. There's victory here. There's that 10 of wands, putting those burdens down. Tens are endings. Ending anything painful, ending, ending anything heavy. You're moving on from it. You're moving in truth and clarity to get your victory. Now we have the King and Queen of Swords. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely a soul bond or a divine counterpart here. I don't know, Leo. What you think? What you think? Let's see. What's the biggest obstacles Leo are gonna is gonna have to overcome? Biggest obstacles for Leo. We'll get into that right after. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10k subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are gonna be given out, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air, and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back into right, your Leo, reading. biggest obstacles. We have going with the flow. Be like water. Go with the flow. Don't try to force, push, change, you know, go with the flow. And putting down that freaking burden. The burden. That's the biggest obstacle to go with the flow and release the burden. Whatever that is, I feel like it's fear. I do fear of getting hurt again. Projecting. Didn't I just go over that with you guys? Projecting things onto to other people, insecurities or past hurts and bringing that on to this relationship. Release the past burdens. This person, I don't feel like this person is like that. I feel like this person actually is genuine. 
If this is someone new and you haven't met them yet, they could be coming your way. I feel like for most of you, you, you may actually know this person. You actually may know this person from like childhood or back in the day for some of you. So it's not like a brand new person, but it's like a new person. All right, let's see what other messages do we have for Leo. Messages for Leo. Outcome, results, conclusion, ending. You will soon get a resolution. So you're finally going to get like a sense of like, this is the way I'm moving forward. This is the outcome here. Yeah, good. Summer, it's time to see the sunny side. See the positive side of things. You may have met this person over the summer or something may happen in summertime. Home, you feel at home with each other. Hesitation. Past heartbreak, broken trust, afraid to move forward. What? And union, reconciliation, eternal love, your time has come. This is a soulmate connection. You guys have known each other before in a past life or something. And that could also be where that fear is coming from. Coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, change liberation. Yeah, there's going to be a transformation here within this. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Leo, I feel like you're running. I feel like you're running. <laughs> Separation, yeah, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. You're going to get clarity on that. Girl talk, guy talk, whatever. I feel like time with friends, living in the moment and having fun is what you're kind of just doing for now. All right. All right. What would this person like to say to you, Leo, if they could? What would they like to say? Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. I'm telling you, there's something here about that. Past life stuff, soulmate connection. All right, Leo, that is what I have for you. Please